Welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try sailing. It's a G chord. E minor to a C chord. Back to G. I am A minor. Stormy waters. E minor to be an A minor to be a G. This one's a little different to a D7. Okay? So uh, that's it. That's it for the whole song. Yeah, it just keeps repeating. Uh, now what I did was, this is a song Rod Stewart sang. Um, he had it in the key of B, okay? I moved it to the key of G, so you could put a capo on if you really wanted to, but this is just such an easy one. Um, nice. It just repeats the same pattern, and uh, I just always like this song. It's like a sort of a gospel song. You could do it in church. Uh, it's about losing a loved one or something like that, and you're missing them, basically. Um, so what you got? You, you need a G chord. Uh, third string, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. And what we're going to do for a strum pattern is we're going to go down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Okay? And then we're going to go to an E minor chord. Uh, first string, second fret, second string, third fret, third string, fourth fret. Same strumming pattern. Then a C chord, which is the first string, third fret. Back to the G. A minor is the fourth string, second fret. That's it. And then the E minor again. Back to the A minor. We're going to go to a G, but this time we're going to go down, 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 up. So our, four, uh, for, <laughs> our first four moves on the big strum, we're going to do on G. And then a D7, which is the fourth string, second fret, second string, second fret. We're going to go down, 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 up. So that's really the only change in the song. Those two are, sh um, you know, it's a shorter, it's like one measure each on those, whereas two measures on the other chords. Uh, or you could think of it like they're sharing a measure and the other ones are getting a whole measure, depending on how you want to look at it. Doesn't matter. That's what you need. So, strumming is usually the problem with these songs. So, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Okay, you, if you can say that out loud, that will really help without strumming, and then say it out loud while you're strumming, that's another way to work on it. Um, you can break it up into sections, like down, 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 up. Just get used to that. And then the next section's up, down, down, so you get used to that. Then the next section is down, up. So you could break it up like that. Uh, I had a student the other day, and uh, I had him sit down on the floor and write out the strumming pattern uh, with little spaces in between, so it meant something to him, and, um, and he got it. That's how he did it. So uh, that can work too if you just write it out yourself. Um, Notice the way I write it out. If you ever go to my links, you'll see that I leave spaces in between, and those spaces are important. All right, so that's the song. I did not really, I didn't base it on the recording um, that Rod Stewart did. Uh, I always loved the song, but, um, you know, it's like a guitar solo in it that really doesn't do too much and stuff, so I wasn't really worried about trying to do it like him. This is one that you could just sit around the campfire and play uh, really simple, okay? So it's the... Uh, uh, G chord, um, uh, sailing, I am E minor in, to a C chord, to the C is G, is G chord, <laughs> then I'm sailing is E minor, uh, no, <laughs> it's A minor, <laughs> back to an E minor, I was looking ahead, and then to be near you is an A minor, to be free is G, to the D7, the whole song. That's all you need. Just keeps wrapping around. Uh, play more Ook. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.